Hello everybody, welcome to a new short series of videos I'll be doing called Quick Looks. In these Quick Look videos I'm going to take a quick look at a game that I really like, or for some reason I think you should check out, and this uh, week it's going to be Cortex Command. I've been playing it on my stream a few times, and uh, it's a really good game. I followed it during develop development, it was in the um, Humble Bundle once, and now it's out on Steam, so you can buy it there. It's a single player game, you can play it multiplayer with um, friends on the same computer, but presuming you don't have that, um, you can just play it yourself, which still is a lot of fun, and there's tons of mods for it, extra units and stuff, and lots of stuff you can do. I am derping around here. I want to play the tutorial, but it won't let me. Tutorial mission. There we go. Now, this is Cortex Command. The basic premise of Cortex Command is as follows. We're uh, kind of past a point where we need the petty little, you know, physical bodies to carry our brains around. Our brains have been detached from our bodies, and since they've been detached, we have enabled space travel, and we've been traveling all over the universe um, doing fun stuff. Now, because we're so free and we can do whatever the hell we want, resources have become more and more scarce, and uh, we fight on planets to get resources. Now this is one of those planets, and you assume the command of a brain. And as a brain, you have two things to worry about. Winning a war with your soldiers, which you can command from your safe little brain over here in the little jar. And uh, getting gold. So the gold you can see in the ground over here. In this tutorial mission we get a nice little stack up here as well. And as long as you've got some troops in the game and your brain is still in one piece, you're still going. And so for most game modes, you're going to be attacking the enemy brain and trying to destroy it. Every single pixel you see in Cortex Command actually has quite a bit of physics to it and can kind of interact with everything else in the world. It looks like a pure, simple, painted 2D game, but everything you see here can be destroyed and fly off and get crushed and it's really very, very cool. It has different properties, there's all sorts of crazy weapons, so to so kind of show an example of that, I'm just pick up this SMG and just shoot this guy's head off. Boom, just like that, and he just turns into a little pile of debris. It's really, really freaking sweet. If I use something, say, a really powerful weapon, they may have knocked his head off and sent it flying, and a flying head could actually hit another unit and kill it, for instance. It's pretty freaking cool. Now most units are actually equipped with jetpacks, which makes traveling around a little easier. The walking is a little derpy in Cortex Command. Um, here's where get some um, gold. In this case, I can use this digger to just kind of suck up the gold. And once I've gathered all the gold, I can use that and just go into this little menu, go to buy, and buy soldiers with guns and tools and bombs and all sorts of cool stuff. I'm going to get a soldier, which is not like this dummy. This dummy is kind of a robot. And I'm going to equip him with a gun. Now I've got a few mods installed, and there's tons of mods for the game out there, like I said. Um, I'm going to get him a standard one that's in the game, even if you don't have any mods. A thumper, which is a really cool little grenade launcher. And once I place the order, it's going to take a few seconds for it to be processed, and then it's going to be dropped down with a leased rocket. This rocket's going to be rented to deliver this duty, you see, but I can still take control of it before it flies off, and use it for something fun. Say fly... Oh, no, 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 go, yeah, got it. Fly it into my enemy, for instance. Which, I don't think they're too pleased about. It looks like they're coming my way. Fire. I just face planted with his uh, jetpack. The AI is a little derpy sometimes, but it's still good fun. Shoot! Oh, see, I just blew the guy's weapon out of his hands. Physics! Take it down! Man, my little guy's bleeding now because he got seriously injured. I also think he lost his weapon, so let's call in some more reinforcements. This guy has to get out of here, otherwise, it's gonna get caught in the blast. Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun, get the gun! Pick it up! Very heavily armed, it looks like. Okay, my guy's here. Survived the landing, looks like. The guy without his leg is trying very hard to shoot his robot. Uh oh, it's a little too close. The shrapnel can easily kill uh, soldiers. Dude, you're out of. You don't even have any arms. What are you doing? 
Oh, he got horribly murdered. Let's see if that arrives. Yeah, it looks like his legs are blown off, but the turret is still functional. Youch. Let's see if we hit him that way. Yeah, he's destroyed. Nice. Whoops! <laughs> oh, poor soldier. He's got some very serious wounds, and he blew up his own gun too. I think. Well, so we don't. So we don't have anything to um, blow his brain up. I guess I better drop him like a something to get in there. Let's get him a tool to get in there. Like the. Um, so you see all sorts of really cool tools: brick deployers, plasma cutters. It's really rad. And uh, we'll just drop him something to use. Sort of standing around loitering. So that's the enemy brain. It has to be destroyed. This little tutorial mission. And this was just, you know, there was some pretty crazy shit happening there. And, you know, heads being blown off and bleeding and lost limbs and grenades flying and rockets flying and stuff. But that's totally vanilla Cortex Command stuff. Really not a big deal. That's also why I love this game. It's completely insane. Okay, so this is a plasma cutter. In here and then cut up his brain. Coming for you, brain. Got him. So that's just a tutorial. Now, for the actual game, let's play a little skirmish defense, which means we're going to be defending ourselves against an enemy that has a little bit of money, essentially, to try and penetrate our base. This shows you a little bit of the base building aspect of it, which you can get totally lost in. You can build a whole base, which is very, very fun. I'm gonna go to uh, the Sladaran Wilderness. There's all sorts of places you can fight and all sorts of game modes to play. And I'm gonna be playing against the AI. So first off, I'm gonna build a little Brain Vault. Now this time I'm not gonna spend too much time building it. You can spend a lot of time building the perfect sort of hideout for yourself, which is really sweet. Uh, but we're not gonna do that right now. Uh, partially because that's gonna make this game very drawn out. Um, this map's a little bigger as the tutorial one, as you can see. There's lots of gold in the ground I can dig out. But I'm, of course, going to situate myself... Uh, I don't think I'm going to put myself right there. I'm going to situate myself under this snow over here. Right around some gold. And I'm going to give myself one of the f my favorite features from the mod. MBC. Maximum Dude Corp Weapons. That is the uh, Rocket Silo. And I'll show it in a little bit. It's pretty sweet. Um, we've got a limited budget, so we have to be a little budget savvy. Use these guys as watchtowers to put some units on. And then, uh, oh, look, look, a couple of hallways. Your brain has to be accessible. You know, you can't just put it away somewhere underground, covered in layers of thick armor. If you do so, you can't start the game, because the enemy has to find some way of getting at it. It's tempting to make yourself completely instructable, of course, but that wouldn't make for a very fun game. Let's see. I'm looking for a little piece over here that is shaped like that. Let's make it a long fall. And this one can go up like. Let's say make it, uh, yeah, like that. And then some stairs because the AI loves derping on stairs. So the stairs go to the surface. There's a reinforced brain vault there too, but eh, I don't really care about that. A little bit of an open zone. And, uh, yep, there's the entrance. There we go. Now, there are some Maxim Dude Corp, again from the mod uh, modules that I'm going to use here. I'm going to use a laser door. Right here. Then I'm going to put down some, um, turrets, which are actually moving units, but they're very good at defense. In this case, it's easy to... No, no, don't fall over. Just a couple of basic turrets to defend myself against any threats. I want to place that missile silo I'm so happy with. This is the one. It generates... automatically generates a whole bunch of nuclear missiles I can fire, which is really sweet. Oh, that didn't work very well. I can seem to remove the object either. Oh well. That's just too bad. I'll build another one. No problem. I'll build it right here. There we go. And, uh, oof, those were expensive. 
And um, I'm gonna, of course, play some actors. You know, actors are just common soldier units that you can do, then pick up anything. They can pick up diggers and weapons and tools and eh, anything. They're your workhorse. I'm gonna use these guys because they all look different. They're human, so they bleed. And uh, gonna, let's give them some cool weapons. Let's see. Of course, one of them is gonna get a thumper because it's sweet. I'm gonna give one lucky guy the RPC M17. Unassuming name, but the RPC M17 fires a rocket propelled chainsaw. You can expect fun results with that one. Um, so let's see what else we got. We got some tech trooper faction guns. That seems kind of small. Oh, yeah, I'm in the wrong category. Here we go. Tech trooper's guns. Ooh, lots of fun guns here. Assault laser, penetrator laser rifle. That sounds good. I do like penetrating things. Unirape laser. Yes, please. I'm gonna give the lady that. And, uh... Zero Division Cannon. These are the pack of mods and weapons. They're a little ridiculous. The MDC ones are fantastic, however. So, so one of the guys is gonna get a sniper rifle. Mark two. You. You're the lucky guy who's already fallen into the snow over there. With the sniper rifle, you are going to be even luckier. You're gonna get the Gatling gun, good for small spaces, and of course a digger, so you can get me some gold. And there you go. Well, that's it. I'm ready for uh, defending. To defend, of course, like I said, I have to place my brain, which has to be accessible. There's a path to it. There we go. Ready to go. Now you guys should pick up their weapons automatically, like this lady already picked up a junior rape thing. A sniper rifle. And then shortly, we'll have our enemies come in and try and dig out the brain. So this guy has a laser rifle. I don't think I've tried this weapon before. Nice. This nice precision laser gun. There's our missile run launcher. This thing over here appears to be stuck. Whoa! Okay, exploded. Oops. Okay, sounds like something's landing. Yep, the enemy is landing their dummy ship. So let's launch a nuclear missile at them. How are you? <laughs> oh, it never gets old. Alright, you, with the sniper, sniper rifle. Let's move. Stop playing in the snow. Some time for that. Ooh, that was nice. It just shot his head off. Clean off. He's tumbling down the hill. I think I shot him in the torso. Is he down? Something's burning there, but I think he's still going. Oh, gotta reload. Ugh, quick, dude, before he's in range. Quick. Oh, I just shot his weapon out of his hand, apparently. That took care of him. Okay, what's going on over here? Whoa, whoa! Shoot the rocket belt change on him, come on, do it! Oh, Get out of there, get the turret, take care of things. He's not really bad. You, Thumper Man! You done goofed, man! I'm gonna... I'm gonna help you defend! Yeah, that was a good shot. Reload that thumper, come on, soldier. Alright, nuclear missile time. Sweet, that's a care of them. I could have sent this guy on a gold mission because I don't have that much. And let's get someone in here with a proper gun. What was it again? Alright, oh, yeah, the. Chainsaw launcher, because I, I mean, I gotta show that off. It's just way too much fun. There we go. Drop him off. Let's see, near our base. Oh, look, there's another uh, missile ready, too. He's moving up here. Whoa, they're dropping bombs. Ooh, so they've got some sniper, snipers, too. Yeah, those devious bastards are taking me out. Well, what they can do, I can do, too. I can drop some bombs, too. Cluster mine bombs, that's good. So you're gonna. Oh, yeah, there's 
still throwing bombs. Napalm bombs. Trying to burn my uh, turret alive. Good thing I didn't drop it on the nuclear silo. There's no telling what would have happened there. Alright. Let's fire off. Let's try to intercept their crafts. <laughs> that worked. That debris should crush any one under it, too. Nice. This is our bomber. This guy has the cluster mines. Let's try and use this guy to spit up its gatling gun. It seems to not be working. He's getting out of there. Good! This guy is merely digging for some gold, and meanwhile, we only have to worry about. Yeah, let's try and intercept that guy. <laughs> this thing is too heavy to carry me up with the jetpack, but just to demonstrate it. Mark propelled chainsaws! Oh, I love this game. Alright, hello. Oh man, I kind of lost track of the true battlefront here. Well, this guy's in a good shape. Hey, what killed my chainsaw guy? Guess we need another one. Ah, get hurt to have a small army of guys equipped with rocket propelled chainsaws here. It's order two. What do you think you're doing? Oh, wow. Note that these missile silos are obviously not in the actual unmodded game. They're maybe a little overpowered, but they're really good fun. This one is destroyed because there's, deb there's debris in it now, which will clog it, I think. Okay, the dropship is dropping off one of my troops. Wait, no, it has cluster mine bombs! I guess it has mines in it. <laughs> wow. I dirt. Alright. Let's get a couple of these things in there. Oh wow, I just ordered troops there and now they're dropping napalm bombs on it. Ouch. Fortunately, they're coming in drop ships, so I can choose where they're gonna drop them off. Yeah, you. you move that over here. Otherwise, my guy's gonna get burned. Good. Don't I do it. Come on up, then. Come on up. I won't hurt you. I promise. Scout's honor. Come on, guys. It's really nice up here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh god, that's amazing. I just love that. Oh crap! Holy shit. It's gonna bleed out, I think. It's very badly hurt. It's bleeding out. I'm gonna sacrifice him for the cause. Oh, he hit! That was nice! <laughs> Come on, we'll go for me! Come on, do it! Oh! Pick it up! Reload! Reload, reload! No. Good bloody mess of organs now. Both Mr. Silas seem to be disabled. The other guy's dead too. They're being bombed. Never had an enemy be this, uh, this big on bombing. It's kind of crazy. Got some bunch of perks to this or two. A bunch of weapons lying around so they can themselves. Oh man, the dummy's getting the upper hand now. Struggling to get through the snow, but they are dead. Okay. They'll do a pump with like sniper rifles or something then. Scary stuff. Faster, faster. faster. Alright. Let's go Whoa. Oh, he's got the chainsaw launcher and he's in the missile silo. This guy is stuck in the snow. Come on, get out, get out. The thumper. She had second thought. Move it, move it, move up. Whoa, what happened there? Well, he fired the uh, chainsaw launcher on himself, which is probably going to get him killed because the thing's going to explode soon. <laughs> he can't get out of there, it's too heavy for him. Crap. Alright, and Neil Gun, let's see if he's in the middle of it. I took out one. Hurt. 
So it's like the on range this thing is not the best. Oh, well, it worked. Hey, thumper. Hey, thumper and run. Come on. Try and hit me, I dare you. Fly over. Oh, I just missed him. That was too bad. Okay, let's see if this guy can go outside. Let's kill him. No, he can't. I'll bet you don't. Let's get some troopers in here with some guns. I'm gonna give him some rocket launchers, I think. Not just assault rifles, though. Slopes. Can't hit them with that gap and gun right now. Let's get the hell down. Too late. Let's <laughs> hit in the head. Ouch. Alright, where's the troops? You're armed. You're not armed. Why are you not armed? Up something. Hold on. Don't help. One of those guys told him to dig himself out with the uh, chainsaw launcher. Oh, this guy's so dead. <laughs> it's a bloody mess out here. Everybody's dying. Too soon. Dude. Maybe at this point I can sort of climb up the holes I've made in this thing. Oh look, I can actually get out. Oh, that was nice. He got dug up. He fell into the chainsaw and killed him. I'm gonna use my blaster to kill you. This guy's such a hero. He was hiding in there the whole time just to save me. It looks like there's only three units of the enemy left now to me to destroy. We're gonna win this, guys. Come on. Come up here. Coward. That's right. Oh. Yeah, the robot won. The human soft, frail flesh. Couldn't quite hold there. Look at my gold digger go. I think he's all the way down there already. Nice. Ooh, phew. Sumtree John saved the day there. Could have easily gotten killed. Alright, these guys are stuck in here, so I'm definitely gonna deploy a general purpose person with another fun weapon. Let's do something cool, like a flamethrower. And we'll get a general purpose trooper on it. Two people here armed with assault rifles and other guns. This guy I can also arm with the chainsaw launcher. Can reload, and he can just wait there for the defense. Here's the guy with the flamethrower. Gotta warm these guys up. It's pretty cold in here. Whoa! Ah, fight me there! I will burn you! Come back and fight! Oh, sorry, never mind. Let's reload. Just a moment. Oh, your arm, you don't have any guns. Sure, I'll toast you. Haha, <laughs> melted that guy right down. Okay, one more guy to, to go. This guy's leg is partially blown off. Nothing there. Oh god, don't. Not sure what limbs he's missing now, but he's definitely pretty badly hurt. <laughs> that was a good little game. And so as you can see, that came pretty close to them actually penetrating my defenses. They came all the way up to here. Even though I threw a lot of defense into this. And, uh, yeah. Rocker-propelled chainsaws, homing missiles. That's not even the craziest in uh, Cortex Command. There's a lot uh, you'll be seeing if you play this game. It's fantastic. Uh, you can get it on the Steam Store, made by developer Data Realms. There's a wealth of mods. I hope you enjoyed this little look at it. And uh, stay tuned for more uh, quick looks.